Hey everyone, it's Nadine from Nadine Walks. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about walking the Camino on a budget. So this is a question that I've gotten a bit and that has certainly come up, especially for first time pilgrims, wondering what it costs to walk the Camino. And then more specifically, I think pilgrims who are a little more conscious of their money and their spending, who may not have a lot to spend, but still wanna walk the Camino, they wanna know if they can do it on the cheaper side. And so in this video, I really want to address that and to let you know it is possible to do the Camino, I think for around 30 euros, even a little bit less per day, um, and give you some ideas and tips about how to do that. Now, there are gonna be a lot of different factors here, and this kind of Camino isn't for everyone, and it doesn't have to be. It's one reason I love the Camino so much. There's so many different ways to do it. And there may certainly be some days where it could be hard to stay within that 30 euro range. But I know that it's possible. This past summer, in the summer of 2023, I walked a stretch of the Camino on the Camino San Abres, and I was sticking to around 30 euros a day. And this is in more recent times when costs have really risen in the last couple of years. I think when I first walked the Camino 10 years ago, uh, it was pretty easy for me to stay at 30 euros, almost at my max. And you know, I think I had some nights I was maybe at 25, some days I should say at 25 euros, even some days at 20 euros total for the day. So it was a little bit easier to do back then, but it's still possible today and I did it this past summer. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about how I did that, how you could do that too. Now, a couple quick disclaimers, one is that I don't keep close track of my expenses and certainly not in the day to day when I'm walking a Camino. So this video isn't going to have a breakdown of my daily spending or what I spent in categories over the course of a few weeks or a month. I just don't keep close track of my spending. So while I say I think I was at around 30 euros a day for a lot of days, it might have been a little over, might have been a little under, but I, I know generally from kind of keeping loose track of what I was spending in the albergues and going out to eat in the grocery stores, I, I know generally it was around a certain amount per day. And then the other thing I'll say is that you know, overall, I am always pretty conscious of how much I'm spending on the Camino. I have a budget. I tend to stay at the lower end when I walk Caminos, but over the years, that's crept up a little bit. And for various reasons, I <laughs> um, appreciate some comforts and luxuries. I've given that to myself. I throw in an occasional night in a hotel or pension or, you know, a private room. Um, I definitely now stop more, I think, for a second, a third coffee stop, for an afternoon beer, for an Aquarius, you know, in a glass with ice. All of these little things can start to add up more, uh, which we'll talk about. But overall, though, I, I do kind of pay close attention to money and I try to keep my costs lower. So let's jump in for how you can walk the Camino on 30 euros a day or less. When we're looking at the Camino while you're on it, so we're not gonna discuss the gear um, that you would have to bring with you beforehand. We're just gonna talk about you know, your day-to-day -day on the Camino. The two main categories of expenses is gonna be your lodging and your food. So let's start with lodging. I think you know if you aren't maybe so um, budget conscious or willing to spend more, then you certainly have the option of staying in hotels or pensions or private rooms, and that's going to cost a bit more. But then you know if you want to save money, you're going to be staying in albergues. And I do want to make a quick note of um, the fact that some pilgrims do bring tents and they'll camp along the way, and this can definitely save money. I'm not gonna address that in this video because I don't feel fully comfortable talking about that because I've never taken a tent on a Camino. I've never camped. Um, and I know that in Spain and Portugal, there are restrictions when it comes to camping and wild camping. And so I wouldn't feel comfortable sort of <laughs> promoting camping along the Camino as a really cheap way to do it. I think if you're interested in that, there are other resources and things that you can find to get some more information. But I am gonna be focused on staying in albergues in this video. So to save money on the Camino, you want to stay in albergues. And 
The way to save the most money is to stay in municipal albergues. So these are owned by the municipality, municipality that they're in, and they tend to be a little more basic than a lot of the private albergues that are also out there. Uh, the municipal albergues may have just kind of a bigger open sleeping space with a lot of bunk beds. They may not have the amenities that other albergues have. So you may not find a washing, a washer and a dryer. Kitchens may not be super well stocked. You might not have a curtain on your bunk bed bed. It's going to be a little bit more basic. Um, that being said, there are some wonderful municipal albergues, uh, which I just loved, especially this past summer. I stayed in some wonderful albergues in Galicia. Uh, so they're going to be a little more basic. The cost range is probably, I'd say, between five and ten euros, maybe a bit above ten euros in some areas. You're not going to find as many albergues that, um, that cost five to six euros a night. I would say probably in the eight to 10 euro range is what you're looking at. Um, I, I know that on the Camino San Abres that I walked last summer in Galicia, all the municipal albergues were eight euros. And I think this was one way that I kept my costs down. I stayed almost exclusively in the municipal albergues. At the time, it wasn't that hard to do because there weren't many other pilgrims on the trail. So I was always pretty much guaranteed of a bed. I knew the municipal albergues were opened and it was gonna cost me eight euros. Now that cost has since gone up. I think in the fall or maybe early winter, it is now 10 euros to stay in those albergues. So we are seeing costs go up on the Camino. I still think 10, 10 euros per night to stay in an albergue is a great deal. Um, and there are some spots and areas on different Caminos where you can get under 10 euros. Now, municipal albergues won't take reservations, and so it's generally first come, first serve. Usually priority is given to pilgrims on foot. And so this is another consideration if you're really hoping to stay in the cheapest albergues that you can find, you may have to, depending on how kind of crowded or not things are on the Camino, you may have to, you know, walk a little faster, not take as many breaks, arrive early, you know, start walking earlier in the morning so that you can get to the albergue at opening or maybe a little before they open so that you can guarantee yourself a bed. I do think staying in the municipal albergues for the most part is a really great way to save a little money on the Camino. Now there are donativo albergues as well. And I think, again, I've talked about this before, but it's always important to note that donativo doesn't mean free and every pilgrim is encouraged to make a donation. But I do think it's wonderful that these albergues are here for pilgrims who really don't have much money and are walking their pilgrimage to Santiago de Compostela. Uh, I think it's a beautiful opportunity to stay in a donativo. And if you only have a few euros to spend, then that's what you can give. But I would say for those pilgrims who do have more and aren't who, who aren't on so strict of a budget to really think about what services are being offered and pay accordingly. But I know that donativos sometimes are a great way for pilgrims to, who are on a budget to be able to keep their costs down. So I would say the other category, the big category in terms of costs on the Camino is food. And there are a lot of ways to save on food. So I think, you know, it's Probably kind of obvious, but I would eat out less and go grocery shopping more. So if you're really looking to save money, take advantage of the grocery stores, the small shops, and pick up a lot of food there. You can make picnic lunches as you walk. You can cook in the albergues in the evenings. You can prepare your breakfast. All of this is really possible. So. I really like doing picnic lunches a lot. I find that it's really nice to kind of find a spot as I'm walking, a picnic table, a spot in the shade, kind of spread my stuff out, take off my shoes and socks. And the picnic lunch food, it's so easy. You know, it could just be a little piece of bread, some meat, some cheese to make a sandwich. Lately, I've been carrying uh, flour tortillas, they usually come in like a pack of eight, and I'll put in some meat and cheese and just kind of roll it up into a wrap. And it's really easy. Those flour tortillas are so easy to transport in my pack and they stay fresh for a little while. And so I find that that's a really inexpensive way to have lunch. You know, grab a piece of fruit, some water that you got from a fountain and a village that you passed and you've got a pretty inexpensive lunch. I also think that in the evenings, 
Cooking in the albergue, if your albergue has a kitchen, that is a way to keep costs down. If I'm by myself, I might just do a simple pasta dinner with some tuna fish. I think to keep costs even more down is if you can go together with a few other pilgrims and all kind of chip in a couple of things, you can make a really nice meal, whether it's a big salad to share or a big pot of pasta. Um, it's a really fun way to enjoy a meal with other pilgrims, but not have to kind of spend more money. So. Um, just a note on Pilgrim's Meals and the Menu del Dia. So these are really nice options for Pilgrim's. Both the Menu del Dia, which is more of a midday meal, and then the Pilgrim's Menu, which you tend to find more in, in the evenings. These are served at bars and restaurants. They're typically three courses. It's a starter, an entree, a dessert. It comes with a beverage, so either a bottle of water, a beer, either a glass of wine, maybe a half bottle of wine, sometimes a whole bottle of wine. And it's generally, I'd say between about 10 and 15 euros for this meal. And that's a great value. And I love partaking of this when I'm walking the Camino. But of course, if you are going to be getting the menu del dia or the pilgrim's menu, most days, every day, if you get a couple menus per day, it's gonna start to add up pretty fast. But um, I would say though that, you know, especially if you're grocery shopping and cooking a lot of your meals, every once in a while doing a pilgrim's meal is a wonderful treat. One tip here is that, you know, these meals and menus can be pretty large and I, sometimes I can eat all of it, but often I have a little bit left over and I'm trying to get in the habit of taking some of those leftovers with me. You know, I don't like wasting food anyway, and that's food that's gonna go to waste. And so if I sometimes either bring a little plastic container or Ziploc bags to put the food in, if my albergue has a kitchen, I'll throw it in the fridge. And then the next day I might kind of use some of that for my lunch. I might roll it up in one of those flour tortilla wraps that I have, put in between some bread and it can be nice to one, save on some money, but also kind of eat all the food from the meal the night before. And then breakfast as well. Um, some albergues will provide breakfast for a fee, maybe three or four euros. There are a lot of bars open along the way where you can stop and get breakfast. But again, I think the cheapest way could be to pick up a couple of things from the day before. You know, if you've got a little leftover bread, you pick up, you know, a piece of fruit, a yogurt, um, and that can be a simple, easy breakfast and can cut down on cost. I always kind of make note if I'm staying in an albergue with a vending machine, especially a coffee vending machine, usually then the next morning, I'll just do my own little breakfast and grab a coffee from the vending machine. I also carry instant coffee with me. And so I will sometimes just heat up some water and have an instant coffee. And so that way I can, you know, I usually do stop for coffee later on the walks, as you probably all know, if you've watched my videos before, but sometimes this is really nice so that I can just have a little something in the albergue before I start my walk and not have to stop at a bar first thing. And it does save a little bit. I think another tip when speaking of vending machines is to maybe take advantage of vending machines that you see along the way. You know, of course, I think, you know, bringing your own food, maybe not grabbing extras from a vending machine, that's the cheapest way to go about it. But sometimes a vending machine seemingly in the middle of nowhere or in a village that doesn't have a bar or doesn't have an open bar can be a wonderful thing, especially a coffee vending machine. You might save a little bit of money by grabbing a cold drink or a hot drink from one of those machines. And then on the note of um, like uh, drinks that you have during the day and as you walk, uh, I do think, you know, the day before, if you're in a grocery store, sometimes you can pick up some drinks to have the next day. I've done this with juice. I do this with Aquarius quite a bit. Um, it's, you know, again, you're not saving tons of money, but an Aquarius in a bar with a glass and ice is going to be a little more expensive than an Aquarius that you grab from a grocery store. And especially if you do kind of the room temperature stuff off the shelf, you know, that's, I'm not sure how much it is, but an Aqu one can of Aquarius might be like 40 cents or something like that. It's going to be even less, probably really inexpensive. And so sometimes I'll grab that the night before, put it in the fridge, and then the next morning, kind of mid morning, have it as like a little refreshing drink along the way. You can do this with beer as well in the evenings. You could do it with box wine from the grocery store. You pick it up some, take it back to the albergue. If you take a beer off the shelf, toss it in the fridge, a couple hours later, you know, break it open maybe with a bag of chips and a few friends you met that day. And it might save you a few euros versus going out to a bar to have a drink. And then a couple other tips. One would be hand washing your laundry every day and line drying it. 
And this is something I know it's like an extra chore and it can be so much more convenient to just throw your laundry in a machine if there's a machine available, but it can cost two, three, four euros a load washing and drying. Um, sometimes if you go together with other pilgrims, it's not that much, but if you do laundry in a machine most days, that is gonna add up over the course of a Camino. And I just got in the habit very early on um, to hand wash my things every day. And it's nice every you know week or two, especially on a longer Camino, I do love throwing my stuff in a machine and really getting it clean, but I've just gotten so used to hand washing and letting my laundry dry on the line, and it does save me a little bit of money. I also carry my things on the Camino. I don't ship a pack ahead. And I know there are really valid reasons for pilgrims to ship their uh, luggage and their stuff ahead, but that is also going to add several euros a day, every day for the course of your Camino. So if you feel like you think you'll be okay to carry your stuff, try to go lightweight, but that will save you some money by carrying all the things on your back. And then finally, um, I'd say, if you kind of cut back on doing touristy things while you're on the Camino, that's going to save you money too. Now, you don't have to do that. Walk the Camino however you want. It can be really tempting, especially as we pass through bigger cities on the Camino, to really want to go into museums and cathedrals and churches and learn about the culture and the history of the places we pass through. And that is really important. I do a bit of this, but just personally, I've always found it hard to kind of shift more into tourist mode while I'm on a Camino. I, it's just, it's hard for me to make that transition. So I probably don't do as much of the extra stuff as some pilgrims might, but I have gone into some museums and churches and sometimes there is a fee. I would always say, ask if there's a pilgrim discount. Sometimes there might not be, but sometimes you'll find that you could save a euro or two by being a pilgrim. You just maybe need to let someone know. So those are some suggestions and tips for walking a maybe more inexpensive Camino. There are a lot of different ways to do it, but I really think that the Camino can be this beautiful, simple experience and that it is nice to have some luxury and some comfort items. And again, certainly I have taken advantage of that as I walked, but some of my favorite days are the ones where I wake up and have a quick vending machine coffee. And then as I'm walking, I do a picnic lunch of just like a hunk of bread, some cheese, a piece of fruit, you know, my bottle of water and in the evenings cooking with other pilgrims and sleeping, even if it's in a top bunk in a noisy room on a kind of basic mattress, I've got a roof over my head and I'm using my own two feet to carry myself across this great distance. and. It's a really kind of simple daily routine that you can get into on the Camino and it can be done really inexpensively. So if you're a pilgrim who wants to do the Camino but are hoping to save a little money along the way, know that it is still possible and that you can have a wonderful time. So if you have any tips as ever, please leave them in the comments below. Let me know what you do to save money on a Camino and I'll be back soon with more Buen Camino. I got such a haul from the grocery store. We've got some tortilla, some pastries for the morning, some soup, iced coffee, yogurt, beer, salad fixing, some ham and cheese for sandwiches. <laughs> I'm gonna eat probably a lot tonight for dinner. Um, and I needed to get stuff for breakfast tomorrow. I wanted to bring some lunch stuff as well. All this for 13 euros and 26 cents.